Hey Melanie, this is John Christensen with McGrath Auto. I uh, just wanted to take a quick video walk around of the 2016 Ford Explorer for you. I'll give you a general idea of what kind of condition she's in and what she just looks like overall. Um, I did walk around it here a few minutes ago. Um, overall, the body's in excellent condition. Uh, as you can see, you got a couple small minor things going on with it, but that's to be expected of a 2016. As For instance, like, I don't know if you can see it here, in the picture but if i get close up on it now you can't even see it in the camera there's a little small dent there but barely notice it you need a train die for it uh you got the windows all tinted all the way around uh it does have a tow package built into it um nice heavy duty one looks like you got the seven pin connector there off to the side and then if you notice here in your bumper uh this one is new enough to have been equipped with backup safety sensors and the backup camera which is located right here coming around here to this side same thing really good condition um one of the only things that i did notice on this vehicle that uh might be i'm not sure how you'd feel about you can barely notice it but up here along the front there's like these little bubble spots um and that's just from a little bit of corrosion under the paint uh it's literally once you get back to about right here you can't even notice it um you know 20 feet away it looks perfect but other than that i mean overall she's a great car i'll give you a shot of the inside here uh hands-free entrance doesn't need to be wiped down a little bit but real nice trim on the inside here broken up got stitched leather down below um, pretty heavy duty cloth seats overall in good condition no tearing or anything like that same with the passenger and the rear seats. Uh, as far as your dash, it does look like it has an aftermarket built-in tow brake. It's totally up to you if you want to use that. That's for your seven pin back there. I'll go ahead and kick this over for you. So it starts right up. She drove really well. Um, I just went over and picked her up from Westdale. Um, real smooth. Let's see if it'll focus here. That's kind of what your dash looks like. Two LCD screens off to either side. It's just going to give you information. Um, you can kind of customize it how you want it, which is really nice too. So distances, tire pressures, oil life, um, just how the vehicle is running overall. Kind of load those up. Put your music here on your right if you want. On their center council, you got another LCD screen over here. This is all touch screen here. So just hitting it, you can do all your climate information, whether or not you want to set you know, passenger driver side, cooler or warmer, uh, radio located down here. Looks like AM, FM, Sirius, CD, USB, and what else we got here? Bluetooth, stereo, and SD card. I believe a lot of your connections are going to be down in here within your glove compartment or your center armrest here. And then down below here, you should have a couple plugins for all your media. Uh, moving down the center, climate controls, like I said, it's a dual zone, so you can sync those up or independently. And then four wheel drive controls right there. Uh, quite a bit of storage in here too. I think that's, Fords are really good for the space that they have on the inside of the vehicles. Um, but other than that, if you have any questions about it, any concerns, let me know. This is the one that I would be bringing down to show you. But other than that, thanks for your time, Melanie, and you have a great day.